All right, hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing an unboxing of Strixhaven um, bundle box. So this is um, coming out tomorrow and um, we'll just have a look at what it comes with. So normally a bundle box is actually really good for players that are just looking for a gift or basically just to increase their collection a bit and get a nice storage. So each of the bundle boxes normally come with a card box, a die, and this will be an oversized die that they started doing in uh, Magic 2020. You get 10 booster packs, 12, uh, 20 premium foil lands and regular lands, you get a old art and pretty much two reference cards which is kind of useless. So we'll have a look and see what it looks like. So the box itself actually comes with like the five symbols of each school. So that's actually pretty cool. The coloring is actually quite nice as well. So once we open up, we will see the 10 booster packs lined up in like a little compartment box like that. And you get the die. And the die this time is actually really nice. It's actually quite like a little ember type of um, plastic. So that's actually really, really cool. It's a bit more different to like the Kel Time one, which it was like all etched in, but can't really complain with that. So the die actually looks quite nice, quite refreshing for like a yellow type of die. So we'll pop that there. Inside, we will get two clear packs. So those are the reference cards. And so one of them, this is all going to be just your normal basic land, non-foil. And then this will be your foil basic lands and the old art promo in there. So as you can see, that's the Archmage Imitress. And then you'll see all the lands and foil, just like that. And then lastly, we have 10 booster packs. And we might as well open it right now. So 10 booster packs and um, yeah, let's, let's have a look. Oh, nice. So we have Mila, Crafty Companion, which turns into Luca, and we got Mana Tithe um, for our Mystical Archive. So each pack you get one, but then these are a bit more different to what the Collector Booster drops. So there is no etching on it, it's just a basic um, Mystical Archive. And these um, you, Japanese don't drop in these ones unless you are opening Japanese packs. And there's our foil for the pack. Uh, foils don't drop in all packs, they drop in one like, one every three packs, approximately. And I think the tokens don't come in foil unless you are getting the collector boosters as well. Oh cool, Kasmina. So second pack, Kasmina. So another mythic and revitalize secret uh, relevance. Oh, cute! And then this is basically for the model cards. So um, you can write your cards on it. So if you are playing with like clear sleeves, that's probably the best way to do it. So you you don't get caught with having model cards in your deck. Mascot Exhibition, so that's our Mythic. And Verdant Mastery. And we got Opt. And Prague, Dean of Chaos. So this one changes into um, Dean of Order. So that's pretty cool. And Agonizing Remorse, a little mystical archive card. So six left.
Elemental Expressionist, and we have Harmonize, and a Piss Token. Oh, nice, Quendrix Command. So that's our next rare. And we've got Shock. So again, remember, Mystical Archive cards aren't legal and standard, but if you're playing Drafts and Sealed, they are legal in it. So it's actually quite, it's gonna be quite a spell-heavy draft or limited um, environment by the looks of it, so. Should be quite fun. Accomplish Alchemist and Cultivate. Selfless Skype Weaver. Him ephemerate. I can never pronounce that card. Oh, nice. So we got a foil rear, Nick, uh, Blossom, oh, Nickel Blossom Snarl. So that's pretty cool. Lucky two. And Poet's Crow, and the Mythical uh, Eliminate, and Spirit, and Lucky Last. We got Retriever Phoenix and we got Wither the Storm. So, not too bad. We got two mythics, and um, at least it's better than no mythic pack um, box. But um, yeah, basically, bundle boxes are a great thing to um, continue with your collection if you are a bit new to magic or if you are just wanting to get something for the set. And remember, the die is actually pretty well done. So, yep. So, the set releases tomorrow with our pre release. So, hopefully, see you guys then. Take it easy.